video, we're going to go over our lateral squat. And lateral means we're moving side to side. The word squat means our feet stay glued to the ground. So if we said something like lateral lunge, a lunge implies that we're moving and stepping. So in this case, it's a lateral squat. And we really like lateral movements because so much of training um, is done in this sagittal plane. We want to get into the frontal plane. We're moving side to side instead of, you know, everything's here or just here. So in the lateral squat, we want to get our feet nice and wide. We don't want to be too wide. And I got socks on, so I might slip a bit here. But And we don't want to be too short. So we want to be in a position where we're going to go down and we're going to look like we're in a really good position. The first one is a reaching lateral squat. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to reach. I want to load this leg. This leg locks out and my toes stay straight ahead. And then I'm going to use this leg to then drive up. I'm going to reach, drive up. Now I want to make sure as I go down, my toes aren't sliding out. I want to maintain this position and then drive up. Drive up. A little bit of a forward lean is fine with our upper body as we go down, but we want to make sure everything here is going back so that we can drive up. We can then load this in the goblet position, holding the weight in front of us, a kettlebell, uh, a bag if you're at home, we got a dumbbell, and we do the same thing where we're down, and then we want to control the movement on the way down, and then drive up fast.